Patricia Simmons, and I'm based in San Francisco, but I also work in LA. I was struggling with a lot of things. Um, because I have been doing this for about 10 years and for the past four years I've been SAG. So I had more work when I was non-union versus SAG. And so the struggling was with trying to make sure that my auditions were up to par and not really having anyone to help coach me, but just submitting audition and not getting any feedback. You'd never know what you did right or what you did wrong. And um, the fact that I had one call back on one of the uh, self-tape auditions I did, I tried to study that one <laughs> to see what, what was there about that particular audition that got me the call back. So, but with taking your course, I mean, you just broke it down from the colors you wear, <laughs> the, um, the way you approach the script, to have to go and look at the show so you can get the tone and the feel of it. And so this, a lot of this information I had never heard in my whole time doing acting. So it was very helpful. I would say it was the branding because at first, it was all over the place as far as the age range, as far as the roles I could play, and as far as who I am, re who I remind someone, that person that was doing it of. But the one that I got um, more than anyone else was Lynn Whitfield. And so I've been following her on Instagram. And so I just said, okay, well, let me continue to follow her and, and, and try to incorporate uh, some of her just her essence to see whether that would help at all. And so I found that to be very helpful because I had been following her before they said that. And so I just said, okay, this, I'm on the right track with her. <laughs> In the beginning of your course, I had all these back-to-back -back auditions. And so and I was incorporating the little nuggets that were I was getting from you during the whole course of it. And so um, I would say that the win was getting all the auditions based upon dressing the role and submitting a headshot that was uh, similar to what the uh, casting is looking for. And so even though I have to take use my phone to do it, I would try to portray the character as the casting had in the breakdowns and I felt that that was very helpful. I would describe Christine's coaching style as very um, inclusive for one thing because you did have a wide variety of people in your class, but also, you were supported. You didn't kind of, you never brought people down. Everything was that you said was said to help support and encourage and lift people up. So I felt that that was a very good technique to use, not to make anyone feel bad about whatever place they were in their acting journey, but to help everyone rise to the next level. And I really appreciated that. What makes your course different is the fact that you gave us um, assignments to do, that you have to work on in order to build the foundation. And if you didn't do that first assignment, then the next one would be more difficult because you don't have anything to fall back on. So I would say that anyone that's on the fence should really look at your YouTube videos first and then decide whether they want to um, participate in, in getting this information that you have because it's not just one, you cover a wide range of topics. And so I felt that you expose people to different things that, that they may not have heard about before, or even if they're, they heard about it, they were given um, myths and, and half truths about certain things. So I just feel that this is like the ultimate course to take in order to not just book more TV, but you're getting the foundational uh, groundwork laid so you can build upon it. And, and I felt that that's what I got out of this the most.